Welcome back to another edition of SoCal Science. I'm Jeff. And I'm Jade. Welcome back, Jade. So today we're going to be smelling some summery but versatile fragrances. Cool. So some of them are good for summer and then some of them are going to be good for kind of whenever, but they all kind of have a summery feel to it. Nice. Awesome. Let's you ready? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> right, the first one, let everyone know what you think of this one. This reminds me of a very kind of traditional male scent. Yeah. Um, so I can get the versatility aspect that it could be cool for a plethora of different dudes. Mm -hmm. um, it's present without being too bold. Um, I think this is pretty nice. It almost reminds me of... Pause. It almost reminds me of like a Hugo Boss fragrance, just really well balanced, inviting, um, but yet confident. I dig this. Cool. I'm gonna start it off pretty eight at a, high at an eight. Eight out of ten. <laughs> so you like this one? I do. I do. Great starting awesome. point. Awesome. It's pretty versatile. Absolutely. Um, I'm not even getting an age. I could be younger. Could be older. Yeah, I also this is sexy. I think any age range can wear it. Whether Absolutely. you're a high school kid all the way up. Absolutely. Cool. This is uh, Versace for all. You ready for the next one? Ready. All right. The second one. Let everyone know what you think of this one. Very similar to the first. It's a little bit more prominent mm -hmm. in almost a sweeter way, in my opinion. Okay. I can see uh, that. I don't care for it as much, but again, it's pretty close. Definitely the same veins. I would give this a seven. Okay, still like? Still like, yeah, totally. But it's a little bit more aggressive in a way that I don't care for. Cool. But, but slightly. But same. you still like it? Yeah, totally like it. It's only dropped down by, a seven, or by one point to a seven. Cool, this is Allure Ohm Sport. The third one you're going to smell for us today, let everyone know. What you think of this one? Cool. It's my good luck shake. Yeah. Whoa, this is a completely different direction. Right, this, this one drifts in that summer, yeah. I was gonna say, this is summer written all over it. I get like almost a lime zest right off the bat, then followed by like a powdery, fresh. Um, ooh, this is really changing. I'm gonna be excited to smell this on the dry down, but um, yeah. I'm into this, almost like a, a musk or a patchouli now I'm getting. This is exciting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I don't know if I wanna take it above. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna tie it with the first guy. Okay. But I almost gave it a nine. This is, this is cool. To me, it smells like a lemonade slushy. Okay, I'm still gonna go with lime, but the citrus yeah. element. This is fun. This is perfect for summer. Does feel a little bit more mature though. Um, Maybe, like, I don't think, like, a young high schooler guy would rock it too well. But that's fun. That is delightful. Cool. I'm gonna give it an eight. This is uh, Dior Ohm, uh, Dior Ohm Cologne. It was like, it's not Dior Ohm Sport, it's Dior Ohm Cologne. That's delicious. Awesome. The next one, let everyone know what you think of this one. Okay. I'm getting grapefruit off the bat. Um, which then takes it in a completely different direction. It's, it's, there's still a must, but it's changing it. I dig this, but not quite as much as everything else I've previously smelled. So I'm gonna give this guy a six. Okay. This is interesting. Not, not completely sure even how I feel about it quite yet. Yeah. But uh, definitely great for it off the bat, like strong. Yeah, my first impression was kind of indifferent as well. So, but we'll see. We'll see yeah. what happens. See what it, it does on the dry down. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> so that was uh, Terre de Hermes Givray. Let's see where it happens with it. Let everyone know what you think of this. I'm... I'm impartial right off the bat. That explains the expression on my face. Um, it doesn't, it, it's not very powerful. Like it, it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't know what it really wants to 
be. Mm -hmm. um, it's pleasant, it's not offensive, but I don't even get what kind of guy would wear this. So maybe it is just the back to the versatility that anyone could wear it. Yeah. Because I don't get like, um, it's mellow. So that's something to consider too, which would be great or not what you want. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about this guy. I'm gonna even bring him down below the last. I'm gonna put him right in the middle and see if I either stop liking it or like it more. Yeah, to me it's a very casual fragrance. Very casual, like yeah, just it's there, but I'm... Like you'll smell good wearing it, but it's like one of those things where you just kind of just spray, you'll smell good. So maybe like a confident, every day yeah like grab and go grab and go like that's cool thrown like, in your briefcase your gym bag your school bag like oh yeah. i need to freshen up real quick yes but i don't i'm not getting a specific season i'm not getting a specific gentleman it's just kind of cool but you might out. on the dry down i might Let's awesome see what happens. this is missoni wave next up let everyone know how you feel or think or whatever about this guy my opinion this is enticing. This is bold. This is, this almost reminds me of like what a guy would wear out to a nightclub or kind of a party. This is, a, it's fun. Yeah. Um, inviting, warm. There is an element of fresh. This is cool. I'm gonna give this a high score. This is like an eight for me. Cool. So it's tied with your first, the first, first two of one the, one and three. One and three. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. So you like this guy? I, I like this guy. This is super confident. I do feel like this is a little bit younger, like maybe, I don't know, because age is how you feel and how you act and how you dress. So I mean, that, I don't like saying that stuff, but um, it feels useful. Let's just say a high schooler and up can wear it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. There's It's playful. Yeah. I agree 100%. It's very playful. For those of you that have not smelled this one, because it literally just came out, yeah. um, it smells like a hybrid of two fragrances, which are generally well liked, so. Can't go wrong. Um, and I don't think you've smelled the two that people usually compare it to, so. Anyways, this, this is, one's nice. This is nice. Yeah, cool. This is a Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. Aqua. The last one today, a little bonus one. Let everyone know what you think of this guy. Whoa, really, 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 really different from everything else. Um, Agreed completely. Completely. Um, it's it's super fruity, mm -hmm. and I'm getting multi complex of different fruits, citrusy, but then it's sweet. Um, this is definitely summer. It's changing, so I'm excited to reevaluate this. This is fun. This is this is almost like sparkly, like. I, I, this is like a, almost like a summer day party yeah. scent, I feel. Like, this is young as well. Very fruity. It's getting very, very, very fruity. But I dig it. Um, I'm going to give it a seven. Cool. Definitely would be situational, though, I think. Like, I don't think, it's not very professional. It's a, it's a summer fun fragrance. Super fun, yes. Yeah, and it's definitely daytime. Definitely daytime. Yeah, it uses orange and orange blossom. Okay. And to me, it has kind of a soapy undertone to it too, a little clean freshness to it. That's where it's going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I do think it can be worn in a little bit more occasions, but it is very summery and fun. Yeah, what is and it? And different. So this is Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal Pride Edition 2022. Oh, how, fun. how badass. That, that'd be perfect at all the festivals. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're gonna let these all settle. They're gonna dry down and then we'll come back, retest them all, and then find out which ones Jade likes, whether they're better, worse, or the same. We're back on the dry downs. Jade's gonna let us know if she likes it better, worse, or the same. You cool. ready? Let's do it. All right, so we have Versace Pour Homme. I'm gonna keep it the same because it lost some of its juju. It's still beautiful, wonderful, keep it right at an eight, solid fragrance, but it didn't do anything to pop it out of eight. Cool. The same. And then we have Alorum Sports. This lost some of its jizz jam. Mm, it didn't, it, mm. I like it less. Doesn't do as much for me anymore. 
Cool. And then Missoni Wave. I like this more now. So it went from you weren't really quite sure yeah. to where now, now it smells better. Now I'm into it. It mellowed out and it's um, it's present, confident without being aggressive. That is a beautiful summer scent. I like that more now. Cool. What would you score it now then? Because you're kind of like in the middle of like, the road. Did I give it? Did I give it like a six or something like? You really, give it? Like, yeah, somewhere around there. I, I'd take it to like a seven and a half. Cool. Yeah. So you dig it. Dig it. Uh, this is uh, do our own cologne. I like this more now. This is, um, it got more refreshing almost. Yeah. Um, it kind of reminds me, I'm a huge love to travel. It almost reminds me of like kind of a hotel or something in a good way. Like this is delicious. I like this way more now. It's very zesty. So zesty, yeah. if you are not into super citrusy fragrances, this will probably not no. be it for you, but it is quite nice if but you're into that. Zesty. I like that, like, like a musk or like a, Darker element that started coming through after the dry down. Yeah, That's, so you like it better. I like it better. That's cool. awesome. Is it your favorite so far? Uh, possibly. We'll Poss compare possibly, them. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. Better. Then we have uh, Givre. This just now smells like gr just grapefruit to me. So I'm gonna say it lost some of its appeal, and yeah. I like it a little less now. Yeah. It didn't to me, I, I get just kind of this like this grapefruit the, vibe. The citrus, yeah. It's a little bit on the gentlemanly side. Like I definitely picture it on an older guy. Definitely. Um, but it didn't it didn't bring any better element into right. it. Right. Like I lost. feel like with this one, like you'll smell good and clean and like professional and everything. But it is at the end of the day, it's just a clean grapefruit. It, there's a little bit more than that, but like that's mainly that the big thing you're gonna pick up. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. I know you really like the playfulness of this one. I did, but it got almost too strong now. I like this less because it got aggressive in my opinion. Okay. Um, it matured into something that I think might give me kind of a headache. So it's just too strong It's for just you too strong, yeah. To be smelling all day. Correct. Cool. And then last but not least, we have Pride Edition 2022. I like this more now. It, um, the initial like citrusy scent settled into it itself and this is just so fun this is sexy this is a really great I guy it's fun i think it's a lot of fun yeah too. and how cool that they did that it, too That's it wonderful. does turn like really the soapiness like comes through and it becomes like this fun clean scent yeah i picture like a cocktail and you just add that whatever special ingredient swirling around and it made it a yeah. really good experience this is a 2022 fragrance I'm not sure if it's limited edition yeah. or not, but if it is, just keep your eye out for it. I wouldn't just let it disappear into the ethers if it was a limited edition. So hold on your right hand. Hold out my, oh, Hold that okay. in your right hand. So in right hand, Pride 2022. Left hand, Versace Pour Homme. Which one do you like better? Pride. Pride, okay. Uh, Alorum Sport or Pride? Pride, it's just more exciting. Okay, um, wave or pride? Equally, they're really, really different. This is more professional, I feel, and then this is like for a fun social outing. Cool. So equal at this point. If you had to preference yourself, <laughs> I'm gonna make you do it. <laughs> For an extended period of time, I'd have to go with this. Like, a, okay. just because I do think this is situational and seasonal. Right, but we're in summer right now. This is a summer video. Well, then this. <laughs> They're both summer fragrances, though. I can't, so I can't do. You're gonna make me. I'm gonna make I cannot it, do. We're gonna hold this one. Uh, we're gonna hold Wave. I'm just gonna clear the gauntlet with Pride, just so we make sure we have a clear first and second. Okay. Givre. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Still Pride. And then Jim Chuman Aqua. Pride. Pride. Okay. So your first place winner is Wave. Test it one more time just so that you're like, okay. Yeah, I would agree with that. Awesome. And then for third place, uh, it's going to be between 
Allure Ohm, or Dior Ohm Cologne, and this, I gave you the wrong one, I'm sorry. It's okay. And uh, Versace Pour Ohm's in her right hand, and Dior Ohm Cologne is in her left hand for third place. Dior Homme Cologne, and just because I can't remember if I even gave you, keep Dior Homme Cologne Sorry. in your hand. <laughs> I can't remember if I actually gave you that one earlier, so compared to Wave. I like Wave. Cool, Wave from behind. <laughs> so on the opening, you were completely middling about it, and then it swung to your favorite, um, which is crazy. Well, just give it some time. I mean, these. But did I've, you. Go ahead. Did you not like any of them? No, I enjoyed all of them. Cool. You're pretty good at yeah. getting good stuff for me. So I enjoyed everything. There wasn't anything like, please don't buy this. Right. Um, but yeah, it's just about levels and how they develop and it's always interesting. Yeah, it's, and it, yeah. to me it was crazy seeing the ones that you liked for like everyday use kind of just stayed the same for you. And then like do you, like Versace Pour Homme, Alorum Sport. Alorum Sport shifted a little bit less mm -hmm. for you, but like Versace Pour Homme stayed pretty consistent for you. Yep. Um, and so did uh, Dior Homme Cologne and Givray stayed the same for you, but you were not in love or anything. Crazy. The, the, it's always fun. <laughs> yeah. You never know what comes out on top. Right. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to follow us right down below and all that jazz. Take care, guys. Bye, guys.